Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of Pokemon Sword. Today, well, in this episode, we are going to continue where we left off with helping Hop go rescue the Wooloo. So let's go do that. Uh, also, don't forget to uh, follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram, just get uh, updates and such. That Wooloo, where do you think it got off to? The fog is real coming on how thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Oh. Hello. Hello, Squabbit. Poke. Poke. Hello. You look like the bird Pokemon. I'm going to scratch your eyes out. Nice two damage. Two damage. Hear that? Was that a Pokemon crawling out? You think? Yes. Hello. Another Squabbit. Grant Hook. Yeah. Three damage. Also, before I get, before I forget, I often like my my uh, moves like that. Come on, Ruby, that Wooloo might be in real trouble. It begin it begin real foggy around. Uh, this is mad, I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I can't even see my own I think I get now why this place is off limits. What's gonna happen? What be happening here? Oh. Why does it look like he has like those uh sausages hanging from his hair? Like his hair looks like sausages. I don't know why, it looks like sausages. You can it looks like sausages. Like sausages, why? Those braids be looking like sausages. I don't like it. It's weird. Nice the 
move had no effect. The mysterious Pokemon gaze is a What? The move had no effect on it? Branch. Poke. Yeah. The move has no effect. Ruby, I can't see anything. You okay? He's branch poke. The move has no effect. I can't see anything. Weird. Pass out. Oh? Hop, Ruby. What? Lee, how'd you manage to find your way in? Your pants with directions, you always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from my little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two, and he never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wulu? We were trying to rescue that Wulu. <laughs> that little chap's just fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come in here all the same. And I can't understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hawk. And at least the Wulu's alright. Yeah, Ruby? I thought we'd had it when the weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attack. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attack with some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hawk? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. It just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, feel it. They seemed to pass right through it. It moves pass right through it. So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering world. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to re reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. It'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience this is. This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare. She'll she will go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than what we just did. Mama. Mum. Hi, mum. Well, now isn't Grookey just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off the wedge first, aren't you? Here we go, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Make maybe some po some potions or something. Remember that Grookey will battle to the very end for you, so don't go pushing the poor deer too hard. Good. And you, Grookey, look after my little Ruby. Come home to the rest anytime that you need after all. East or west, home is best. Love you, mama. Bye, mom. Bye. Bye, mom. Ah, I go. I like how you all matches what, like, um, character you start out with. So, like, she'll have blonde and be pale white. Like you, and it's pretty cool. Here we go, this is quite the big step, you know. My first step toward becoming the book next champion. I guess I'll probably train up Sobble a bit by having a battle against Pokemon and Tall Grass. You should get yourself to the building where the purple roof and great red white palm mark out on front. That's the Pokemon research lab. Low. Oh, 
Toad. Oh, great. A crit. Um, I go to the lab, but I want to go do something first. Oh, uh, let's buy some. And yes, mom, 30 fucking K is a, uh, little bit of pocket money, apparently. Just getting some berries. And you already know what I'm going to go do. Go get this Pokeball. I'm kidding. I'm gonna go get some clothes. Let's go. Let's get some clothes. Hey. Alrighty. Hello. Alright, let's. <sighs> um. Let's get this. Um. I'm gonna get the shuckle shirt, but I'm not gonna wear it. Nah. Alright. Um. Let's get a purple one. We must already have the black, but I'm gonna get these navy ones. Um Let's get those. At least a little different. There you go. Well done. You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless of directions. See how how your world has already grown. All things to have in Pokemon with you. I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now in we go. You know what, for what it's worth, I always talk about not liking Charizard in like Incineroar as well. But I actually give I give it I give them crap, but I actually kinda like both of them. Um, the one starter I don't really like that much is Typhlosion. Uh, I don't know what it is about it. I just don't like it. Same thing with, like, Blaziken and Delphox. But Charizard and uh, Incineroar, I, I don't hate them. But they're definitely better than most of the ones that I would consider bad. Um, I just always get annoyed when I hear about Charizard. But overall, I do like the Pokemon. I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Good luck! 
Hello, Yamper. <laughs> He's such a cutie. Hello. <laughs> What is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never-before-seen super-strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. Good to see you too, Yam Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. Came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonia. Don't worry about her. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. I mean, a way to a man's heart is by cooking for him, so I mean, you gotta give it to her. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. <laughs> what kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just the Emperor helping you out. I did too. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Ruby. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, would you? <sighs> what does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom from. Hey, hey there, Rotom. <laughs> Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They got a map and a navigational tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. So, so tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a, grif a gift from my gran. Could you let gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. Alrighty, Lego. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. Thank you. It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP there hits hit points gets low. HP is like a Pokemon's stamina. You can use your Pokemon. You can use potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. Ah, uh, nah. Let me go snoop. Hello. Hello. The rather grand building beside us is the Pokemon Research, but if it's Professor Magnolia you're seeking, you'll find her at her home, down the far end of Route 2. Ugh. Got your Pokedex on Sonia? Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon centers. Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, Ruby, bet you've never been inside one. I take what I said. He's as annoying as Ho how. Level with me, Ruby. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Of course not. Then I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers, I'm already good though. I've edited the route too, Ruby. Come find me, maybe, when you're done here. My potions. Uh, let's grab a revive just in case. You never know. Also buy some awakenings because I did get um antidotes and well I got uh RM berries but
Let's give one to Donkey. Alright guys, so anyways, uh, we're already at the 20 minute mark and I think that's a good place to stop. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.